from my days as a Vista worker, which was a long time ago, through my years as governor of West Virginia, and now as a member of the United States Senate, I have tried to follow what I felt were my mother's instincts and her mandates. Jay Rockefeller came to West Virginia as a social worker in the unincorporated coal community of Emmons. He was in search of something, and he found it there, in its principles, in its beauty, in its people. In the rolling mountains of southern West Virginia, he found what he calls a clear and powerful purpose. These country roads were a crossroads for young Jay Rockefeller. His experience in Emmons showed him a clear path to a life of public service and public policy through elected office. It's a path that he has paved for the people of this state and is a path from which he has never strayed. He preserved the legacy of one of the state's most decorated daughters, bringing home the collected works of Pulitzer Prize winner, Nobel laureate and native West Virginian, Pearl S. Buck. As governor, he saw every mountaintop and every valley from Hancock County to McDowell, and from Wayne County to Morgan. While in office, he ushered in a new home, a rebirth of sorts, for the West Virginia University football program. The stadium embodies the excitement, the pride, and the spirit of the Mountaineers, which echoes across campus every football Saturday. As we dedicate this stadium, Coach Nealon, I say, let's go Mountaineers! He said that his time in office prepared him to fight for the people of West Virginia, and fight he did. He represented the state and its people most of his adult life. Everyone seems to have stories of a grandfather, mother, aunt, neighbor who called on his office in need of help, in need of someone to listen. And he would, personally, attentively, compassionately. He wanted to know what they needed, and then he would do everything he could to help. Relentless, unstoppable. From his earliest days in public service, Rockefeller believed that access to health care should be a right and not a privilege. As a national leader on health policy and chairman of the Senate Finance Subcommittee on Health Care, he fought to make sure that every American had access to affordable, quality health care. He has been the leader for CHIP, one of the most important children's initiatives of the last half century. It has given millions of America's children, including tens of thousands in West Virginia, the chance to start out healthy in life. He fought to protect life-saving programs that provide critical health care services to millions of Americans. He worked to remedy the epidemic of prescription drug abuse. He supported WVU programs to keep medical students in the state. To support biomedical research at WVU, at the Center for Neuroscience, and at the Mary Bab Randolph Cancer Center. To serve families in eight counties by providing support for parents as they work to raise healthy infants. To provide nutrition and literacy to young students across the state through WVU's Extension Service and AmeriCorps to prevent childhood obesity through a program that started as a pilot at the West Virginia Motor Development Center at WVU, and to establish a statewide broadband network to bring telehealth services to West Virginians statewide. In honor of his mother, Rockefeller and his family set out to advance medical and scientific understanding of Alzheimer's disease and other diseases of the brain. The Institute has welcomed researchers from around the globe who have made significant progress from both diagnostic and therapeutic perspectives. And it has developed a program that bridges the gap between understanding how to diagnose and treat the patient and how to empower the caregiver. Because Jay Rockefeller has lived here, he grew up in West Virginia essentially as an adult, and he knows the commitment of this state and that we can do extraordinary things here. He chose this campus to honor his mother and to place this institute here. Jay Rockefeller has also long battled to protect the health care benefits for retired coal miners. Under his persistent leadership, these health benefits remained strong. 
He also secured funding that will ensure no cuts to benefits for the hardworking miners of West Virginia. As the longest serving member and former chairman of the Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs, Jay Rockefeller led the charge to deliver affordable and quality health care, retirement and disability benefits, and support that veterans need and have earned. He worked to modernize the Department of Veterans Affairs health care system. He has long been a proponent of legislation to boost educational opportunities and reduce unemployment among veterans. He has helped veterans get jobs through investments in training and hiring assistance. He connected veterans and their stories with local school children and encouraged students and faculty from WVU's Reed College of Media to document those stories for future generations. Jay Rockefeller supported increased funding and increased financial aid for students. He was a longtime advocate for outreach programs with WVU that help individuals from disadvantaged backgrounds. He encouraged West Virginians to pursue careers in public service, health care, social work, and education, changing the student loan program to allow loan forgiveness for graduates who work in selected public service jobs for more than 10 years, and doctors who practice at rural health care clinics. He supported a range of initiatives to encourage young people to devote their lives to public service. I think his absolute integrity and his role model as a public servant will uh, serve to draw young people into government, public service, non-for-profit entities for many, many years to come. Jay Rockefeller's vision for the future of West Virginia included attracting unique overseas investment to the state to provide local jobs and investments. He was instrumental in bringing a Toyota plant to Buffalo, which has grown to be the second largest industrial development project in the state's history. Since he first arrived in Washington, Jay Rockefeller believed that the nation must support the institutions and agencies at the center of American innovation, from research and development, to STEM education for America's youth, to STEM teachers for our highest need communities. An outcome of, of his work has really been to improve and enhance faculty communication so that faculty start thinking about how do we get our programs to really work together? How do we integrate what we're doing in chemistry with what we're doing in biology? How do we make sure that the training um, that students receive in education is integrated with the content knowledge they get in math so that together we're working to really produce well-rounded teachers and well-rounded STEM scholars um, at West Virginia University? He believed that education and innovation is necessary for economic growth. And he believed that underserved states like West Virginia should get a fair chance and a better share of grants from top federal scientific agencies. Indeed, Jay Rockefeller believed the telescope was a hub of world-class research and a source of enormous pride for the people of West Virginia. He led the fight to keep it open and keep it strong. It gives us a real advantage when we're trying to recruit students to WVU to have this facility in the state. I think we recruit a lot better undergraduate and graduate students who want to do astronomy um, from out of state because they want to come and they want to work with the Green Bank Telescope. With significant work through WVU's Center for Identification Technology Research, he recognized early on that West Virginia was poised to become a leader in the advancement of Homeland Security technologies. Rockefeller's passionate commitment to West Virginia and to West Virginia University has helped improve the lives of West Virginians, its young people, and their futures. My vision, and one that President Gee and WVU shares, is a place that ignites the embers of service and scholarship in scores of young men and women for years and years to come, setting them on a path of, to utterly transforming West Virginia, and maybe just a little bit the world. My life's journey President Gee led me to West Virginia, inexorably, inevitably. And it is in West Virginia that I hope my legacy will be remembered and my journey as a public servant understood. He started down a path of public service many decades ago, and his family supported him. The path took him through the winding mountain roads across this great state and up the steps of our nation's capital. And although that path has been long, and had its twists and turns, Jay Rockefeller was guided by one principle, to improve the lives of all West Virginians. And to all West Virginians who took me in, transformed me, and supported me, whose home is and always will be mine, and who I will always be proud to fight for.
no matter what the cause.